I'm Tracy Tucker, and this is Discover Flint Township, brought to you by Flint Township Economic Development Authorities, HAP Financial Plus Credit Union, Shane Automotive Group, Guaranteed Rate, and 103.9 The Fox. And this morning, I have Dana Williams with me, who has a dream. A big mm, dream. I do. It's a that, big one. <laughs> that, that we all can get on board with. Um, uh, you're working on a project in Flint Township. Yeah, trying to uh, reopen and improve uh, Pirates Park. Yeah, that is, that's so awesome. I mean, we uh, when we were looking at getting the grants and all that stuff, um, people showed just such extreme interest in getting that back open. They still are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what are, what are you hearing? Uh, we're, well, we're hearing from two camps. There's a big, <laughs> big loud. We love this plan. We support this plan. Uh, and then there's a very smaller, very scared crowd of, hmm, Flint Township is too dirty and violent. And I don't think they spend a lot of time here is the problem. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hear that a lot. People have this vision in their head of what we are. And then they come here and they're like, oh, this isn't what I thought oh, at yeah. all. <laughs> well, people are like, oh, my gosh. If you go out there and at night and walk around, what? Nothing will happen. Like, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right? I don't know. I know. And, and, and that's part of why we're here with the, the radio show is to right. try to bring our story out and let people know who we are, what we are, what you can do here. Right. Um. And so what you're looking at, um, I kind of liked, you guys gave me some talking points of things that you wanted me to know before oh, sure. I interviewed you. It's more to keep and, me on track. Than yeah. Anything, and but. I like this. We moved the comma. Yeah. The, the apostrophe <laughs> in pirates is now, it's not those pirates own the park. It's all of the pirates own the park. <laughs> and we are all the pirates. So the people are the pirates that are coming there. I get it. I get it. I like it. That's kind of cute. And then, so you're basically, it's the same location, but you're doing things a little bit differently? Is yes. what you're trying to do? Oh, we're doing all kinds of things differently. Um, we are starting uh, with the, the old park that you remember. So the, the go-karts, mini golf, batting cages, all that kind of stuff. Although... The go-kart track is in pretty rough shape. It's probably actually going to be phase two before that one goes up. The water slide's in terrible condition. That's going to come down. But we're going to put a zip line in its place. But there's like all kinds of things we're trying to do to make the park more accessible to people, uh, more interesting to people, and and to make it more of an impact in the community rather than just being a for-profit business. Okay. Okay. So explain that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So So right now, technically, we are still a... C corporation because uh, it's just easier to try and get the property and that lets us get onto the park and run the you know concessions and liquor license and that kind of stuff but eventually it will be a nonprofit uh, organization that runs the park uh, okay so you have there's more than just you yes and it is yeah, it yeah. is I am I have reluctantly become the face of this project <laughs> and uh, the voice <laughs> the, the face and the voice which I don't know. It was not, I was outvoted by everybody else. Um, <laughs> They're all scared of me. <laughs> well, I'm always been kind of the quiet kid anyway, but I'm just, I guess the most intensely passionate about this project that I've, it just, it falls on my shoulders because to be perfectly honest, no one else will do this. Like we've talked to everyone I can think to talk to and everyone likes the idea, but to, to get your neck out there, to be the one pushing an incredibly expensive project uh, yeah. i mean we're looking at like three million dollars to to get it rolling mm -hmm. uh for phase one but it's so worth it i think in the long run yeah. I, I, so so let's talk a little bit but we'll get more to the park in a minute but let's talk a little bit about you what's sure. your background you're from the area from uh, born and raised in davison okay. uh, lived in genesee county um all of my life except for the couple of years i spent in california uh -huh. uh, goofing around but uh Came back and uh, decided, you know, while I was out there seeing the big wide world and what all was going on, it's like, if you're going to put your time and money into something, you can put that anywhere in the world and it'll be a wonderful thing. So I came home uh -huh. where I knew people needed people who cared even a little bit right. to put their time and money into making this place a little bit better. Like I... I Love old and broken things and Flint. <laughs> like Flint fixing them? Those. You like yes. fixing things. I do love fixing things. Uh, it's it's a joy to build. It's a joy to create. And yeah. to take something 
uh, that was broken and mend it in a way that makes it more beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen or heard of the Japanese um, pottery technique where they take a broken pot and fix the cracks with gold, and then there's this broken, beautiful thing. Right. Uh, in my head, that's kind of what we're going to do at the park is, is <laughs> fix like it, it. make it better, philosophy. make it more beautiful. So, so what do you do outside of this? Uh, a couple of things. I am still a professional photographer. I'm also okay. an optician for my nine to okay. five, may, may, paying the bills. Okay. Uh, the, the news does like to call me a businessman. And while I technically do own a business, I think it means something different to them than it does to me. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just the the most excited fanboy for Pirates Park. <laughs> so I'm at the head of the, the crowd. As the businessman makes it sound like I can just make it happen. That's been a few of the comments we've gotten online is, oh, why don't you just use your own money? Oh, why don't you just find an investor who, who will just <laughs> grant you all of this money? And it's like, wow, that's a, you know, I wish I had thought of that idea first. <laughs> you are right? so helpful. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many people out there that think there's just this money just laying around and we're just not doing it because we right. haven't asked for it, right? Right. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, just uh, going to hit up the money tree on my yeah. way uh, out to the park today. But no, and then that's where we so are. Did you go to the park when you were Oh, younger? yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a bunch of birthdays in a row out at the park. We'd yeah, go that's awesome. arcade, uh, the go-karts especially, uh, which is why I'm... Very sad that they're not on the top of the list. We'll get there. Yeah. Trust me. We're going to do a better course when we get around to redoing the course. Nice. Nice. <laughs> you know, and everybody's looking for something to do, to get out of the house. Oh my gosh, especially right? after the last couple of years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Everybody wants to be out there. You look like you have a question, Rusty. Did you have a question? No, <laughs> no, no, he's just, just listing. Ideas are formulating. <laughs> right. Well, that's one of my favorite parts about talking to the park and talking to people is I haven't come away from a conversation with someone where they didn't give me another great idea, another thing to put in there. Uh, yeah, I know when we were when we were looking at it as when I say we, I mean the township, um, the go kart track. We were looking at using it for uh, remote control. Yeah, that's not, that's we're ours. totally stealing Until that. Until we could fix it, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, we've had a, and a few people are really excited about the the, go, the awesome. RC track. Um, so we're going to do a couple different things. We might even awesome. do, uh, apparently it's a thing where they have, um, you drive slower, but it's a technical course where you're trying to get your thing over little bridges and rocks oh, and we get to like yeah. build a diorama of some like <gasps> fun know, little course. Like even know, that just sounds like my fun. My neighbor did that. My you know? neighbor out in his yard he has one of those little remote control, uh, like four wheel drive truck. You the right. big the big trucks like a monster truck, and it's for, and he this remote control, and he built this obstacle course like in his yard. It's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and that, like, that was one of the things. I love is, watching. Uh, for a little bit, we were doing um, tours, talking to people, trying to get some interest, and and one of the the people was out there who was since volunteered time and, and energy when we get the park yeah. to to help redo it. Um, yeah, it gave us that idea. It so was, right now, right, what what phase are you at now? Have have you ugh. um bought the park or are you still trying We're to raise still funds? trying to get the park? That okay. is what the Kickstarter is for. That is okay. why the Kickstarter is so important. So let's talk about that, the fundraising aspect of this. Yeah, so um, right now we're running a Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter, for anyone who isn't familiar, is where you are not donating money. You are uh, backing the project and you are receiving rewards for that. So actually most of the tier rewards and our plan right now are returned to you as store credit when we open. Uh, so if you give $100 right now to the project, when we open, you're going to have $100 in store credit to go play games. Uh, oh, so that's all, pretty cool. all you're doing is pre-buying your first night out. Uh, okay. It's, yeah. Okay. Uh, or buying memberships and, and, and extra stuff. And there's actually even for those businesses or people out there um, where you can rent the entire park for a day. And that's done. They can go to, where do they go to do this? If you find us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, piratespark.org, um, there's links all over the place. Every reply <laughs> to a comment that I make uh, ends in a link to the Kickstarter. Okay. Um, so if they so, go to piratespark.org, yeah, if you, there will be a link We're getting there. up there in the Google search. So if you type Pirates Park, you're going to be real close. Awesome. Awesome. And so... What's your goal right now? What's your goal for the Kickstarter program? The Kickstarter goal is to get the 10% we're going to need to buy the property. And once okay. we get the property, funding options really open up. Things change so much for us once we actually have a place to put this business. You can't fund 
a business that doesn't have a place to be. <laughs> right. And you can't get funding to buy property for a business that isn't already profitable. That's why we're asking you for help. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I would really like to ask as many people for as little help as possible because I naturally just don't want to bother people. and I'm very... I don't know, weirdly embarrassed to be asking for money because yeah. it's not, that's not what I want to do. I want to run a park. I want you to come to the place and wave at me and be like, oh, hey, there's the guy. He does the Pirates Park. It's yeah. Like, I don't want to be the person like, oh, that guy owes me money. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, so um, is there like a goal in the funding? Like, I mean, are you looking to hit 150,000, 300,000? I mean, I know you'll take as much as you can get. Oh, absolutely. But and it would help. What, what, yeah. And, and, and if you could find somebody who hears this that says, you know what? I'd like to get on board with us. I'd like to be a part of this I have, nonprofit. I have a spot on the board for you, please. Yes, exactly. Uh, for you and all of your money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually. As, as far as we've shown to, to anybody, uh, no one has disagreed with our business plan. And our business plan shows that we are going to turn a profit. Yeah. So, but but what is the goal? I mean, the goal like, is, is 150000 It's actually $168,400 uh, because so, with Kickstarter, that's the taxes and fees and stuff. But essentially, we are going to try and get $150,000, which gets us the $1.5 million to purchase the property. Yeah. So if we can get... Like if everybody in Genesee County put in a buck. Yeah, there's four. Uh, last I be, checked, 400,000 people yeah, that actually would be. only need like 4% of everybody to give $10. <laughs> like yeah. one Burger King meal. Yeah, like if, exactly. If you want those. It's really not that much. Um, no. Even the $100, I mean, you're going to get it back. All, all I'm asking to do yeah. is hold on to it for about eight months and then you can have it back. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, um. You know, you said that eventually you want to be a nonprofit. Is there, yeah. there's more than you involved, right? Yes. You have a yeah, board of directors a, already. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you already have the nonprofit set up? Or no, you're we, trying we don't, to get it, yeah, because can't do it until um, after you have property. Right. We need, well, we need the, yeah, the business to be running. We need a certain number of years of uh, paperwork and like showing that we're trying to be a charitable business and, and just paperwork reasons is mostly the reason that we're not already a nonprofit. It's not. Right anything to do with how we're running the the business or why we're running the business. Like we, right. we are at heart a nonprofit corporation, but because business has rules and weird things, we're not technically that yet. Yeah. And a lot of that has to do with you don't have property yet. You don't have. Oh, gosh. It always comes <laughs> back to that. You don't have funding it's... yet. You don't have. Yeah. So, and that's what we're trying to get your story out there. So. Which um, I appreciate. Yeah. People can understand what's going on there because I get questions all the time going on with pirates park I'm like, right same well, thing that was going on yesterday <laughs> yeah like un until yeah. that little piggy bank gets full nothing uh, right. I have a lot of people right. who are like oh you got one more customer i'll see you when it opens and it's like no you won't <laughs> yeah <laughs> unless unless we hit that kickstarter um, right. which is the frustrating part because i mean there's no amount of personal wealth if i sold my house right now it wouldn't make a difference right like we, and when when does the kickstarter is going on now yep and it ends the 19th of 19th april? of april so yes okay. all of you procrastinators are running out of time <laughs> yes yes so make sure you go to piratespark.org um and click on the link to the kickstarter so that you can help with the fundraising aspect um but also aren't you you said you were doing um some type of event yes at some uh, park, yes right? saturday april 9th uh we're gonna have um well a live event there's gonna be food and music and uh games and stuff just kind of like a real small carnival version of the park okay. in, the, in the parking lot because that's just to kind of show people what's there and so they can get a yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, try and explain to people better one on one uh, what we're trying to do, why it's different. Uh, there's been a lot of people, you know, say like, "Oh, well, it didn't work before. Why would it work again?" And it's like, you are correct. That's why we're doing it different. But it's such a right. big, complicated <laughs> that's why thing. We're doing it differently. There isn't really a one line zinger that I can say and explain to you why it's different, how it's different, like why I've been obsessively thinking about it for the last like four years. Right. What we're going to do and why it all meshes together. Better. And what what time is that on Saturday again? Oh, night? that's a very good question. Let's see. We're going to pull this down at one o'clock. I'm going to say one o'clock. One o'clock on Saturday. Okay. I've, commi <laughs> I've committed a bunch of people to something at one o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> there you go. They're committed now. <laughs> yeah. Funny. No, we've actually had uh, a lot of people uh, reaching out to us to help with that. A lot of artists and musicians, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good party. Good. 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 And um, let me think. What else? 
Oh, yeah. That's two days after our egg drop. We're having our egg drop. I've on heard about seven. this with like a helicopter and everything. No, it's oh, going okay. to be. It's a no. Okay, so somebody. No, somebody we're has, not having turkeys fall out of the helicopter. I was going to say, <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they could fly. <laughs> wow, we're all old. Oh, <laughs> we yeah. all do that reference to Lost Nussman. <laughs> well, if you don't get that one, do yourself a favor. Old shows are not terrible. Yeah, watch WKRP in <laughs> oh, Cincinnati. My that was hilarious. But anyway, uh, no, what what's going on is we have a fire truck coming with okay. you know, the, the, right. ladder the ladder that goes really up high. And they're going to drop the eggs down in the two sections for the older kids. So there will be... We have, like, different areas for different age groups. Like, three and under is going to have their own area. And then we're going to have, I think it's, like, four to eight and then nine to 12 or something like that. They'll have their own areas on the other side of the road. We're actually closing down the road between Hap and uh, Shea Automotive, that little road that goes behind their health Mm -hmm. source parkway. And... uh, we're working with Shea and Hap and Dort Financial and Brilliant Marketing and Bishop International Airport and uh, Discover Flint Township. And we have the uh, bunny trail just ended. Um, that ended, well, ends today, April oh. 3rd. What? Oh, my goodness. And it's also my daughter's birthday. I have to wish my daughter, Shanna, happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> You can't forget that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd be in trouble because I talk about her all the time. And, and a poor thing. Because if people know that she's my daughter, they'll be like, uh, she talks about stuff about you all the time. Oh, <laughs> Poor thing. It's never anything bad. Just stupid stuff. Like, I'll be like, you know, when my daughter did. Mm-hmm. Well, parents got to talk about their kids. I know. My son gets away with it. Not, I don't talk about him as much, so he gets a, er, the easy route. Um, let's see here. I want to make sure, though, before I start going on about other township stuff, I want to make sure we hit everything on the park because this is very important. We had, when we were looking at doing um, that DNR grant um, a few years ago. I wish they would still participate. <laughs> and we did, well, here's the problem. If we did it under them, they had so many rules I know, I know. to get it in that money. It seemed like that was kind of the thing that tanked uh, it. They, they it did. They made it possible, it but also it tanked it tied because your hands on they it. had like we would have had to have it up and up and open to the public in six months. Right. There's so much there to do. There was no way we would have had to spend all this money to block off areas and all this stuff. It was crazy. But anyway, what I was going to say, the the, uh, great part of the study we did and all that stuff that wasn't a waste was it showed how many people really want that park there. I mean, we did, I mean, you don't ever get answers to surveys. Like you might get like 10 people or 20 people doing an online survey. Yeah. I mean, even the people doing the study for us, we had uh, Wade Trim was helping us with that. They just couldn't believe it. They got, they called us and they're like, we had 800 people come on today and do the survey and it's a, it was you know it was probably 10 questions it wasn't like it was a uh you know just a one question deal and they said and they went through the whole thing we had i think it i want to say it was like 3600 respond yeah which is just amazing for right, something for like as, that as many surveys as i've responded to i mean to be fair <laughs> and it, yeah and it was and it was uh, all positive i mean there were a couple yeah. just a couple negative ones out of that but out of that percentage i mean it was less than 1% were negative so. yeah i mean I, I i am struggling to figure out why anybody would be angry that it it's trying to open yeah well and part of the issue that we had was we were trying to get um, um the county uh, parks to help us out. We even looked at trying to partner with other communities to do something regional with it. And I mean, these may be things that will be open to you if once you get in there and get going is to work with these other communities. What, what they were basically, what we were looking at was like for programming. We were trying to work with Monday and Swartz Creek so that our programming wouldn't overlap and we could do things at ours and they would do things at theirs and we would all work together to have information on both er- on 
all the areas so oh, nice. that um, like they would have information on our park. You know, like Swords Creek would have information for Monday and for Pirates right. Park, and Monday would have information for Swords Creek. So I think there's some relationships that have been built there that um, once you guys get going on this, we can help yeah. you um, develop those further. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we had talked about a lot of things. I mean, we were even uh, – we had really looked into this, looked into costs and all that stuff, and we just couldn't swing it as – as the township without doing yeah, some like taxing. Yeah, like an unfair amount and of we didn't responsibility want to do that, on you guys. So, yeah, we didn't want to have to uh, put a park tax out there. No. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Tax not doing that. Great. Exactly. Exactly. So, but, you know, I wish you guys luck. And you've got, I want to remind our listeners again that um, it's piratespark.org. And April 9th, which is... Yeah. Uh, this coming up Saturday. Yeah, because today's the third, right? So, yeah, the ninth. And that's going to be at 1 p.m. at the Pirates Park in Miller Road. Yep. Uh, for those of you who don't know where that's at, where have you been? Right. 4175 <laughs> Miller Road yeah. if you need to put it in your device. Yeah, if you need to put it in your device. You know, and it, it, that was like a geocaching um well, I hope we get to do that too. again. Yeah. I want to have treasure hunts. Kind oh, of regularly. Yeah, I think that would be so much fun, especially with it being Pirates Park. You know, oh, right. I mean, go it, looking for that's one of treasure. my favorite things about it being Pirates Park is especially the grassroots way we're trying to do it. It leans on, like, the the aesthetic leans on our kind of rough, hands-on right. approach to, right. to revamping uh, the whole thing. Right, right. Well, and, like, if you're doing treasure hunts, scavenger hunts, whatever, you know, there's so many plays that you can do with that theme mm-hmm. and, you oh, know, all those things. with 34 acres, like, that's... A lot of places to hide stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I mean, be for, for those, that, yeah, for those of you who don't know, there's, I mean, there are walking trails all through those woods. Yeah. I it's, mean, you know, we've walked back there. You can walk on the I other side of the lake. I still haven't hit the, the end lake. of it. Oh, you haven't? No, 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 because it backs all the way up to that neighborhood. But yeah. I've been way back to where you get to all the signs. But I mean, you can spend a good few minutes. I'm hoping we have like a couple of miles worth of trails and, once we you know, clear I was, it out. I was really surprised because when when we went out there, I mean, and you know, it hasn't been taken care of in the trail area for quite a while. So we were walking back there and we got to the creek. That's beautiful back there. I was really surprised. I I I didn't even really know that was there. I'm excited to show people that like there's a spot surrounded by the city, the airport, the downtown, all that stuff. And then, I mean, I'm going to invite people to go camping there. I mean, you could actually get in, you know, like a kayak and actually go down there. Oh, yeah. We talked to the watershed. Um, How much it's moving. Trying to get that creek clear. There's only like two spots where you'd have to like portage, but you can go from the park to the um, downtown Flint and all the rest of the Flint uh, water and the whole system. Yeah. Uh, so you could yeah. go from you could go from Swartz Creek yeah. to the park. Too. Yeah, I, I haven't so. driven out myself, but I was looking on the map. I want to f- find out where that place to drop in would be, and I would I would love to have people passing through by the park. Well, you know, starting at the park, going it, downtown. We'll bust them back that and forth. Crosses, if I'm recalling right, that crosses where the middle school is. Really, and goes in. Behind the little subdivision there, and there's it's called Windshell Park. There's a small park there. Okay. That yeah, and I, be great. I don't know though if you'd be able to go under the bridge that's at the middle school because mm. you cross over it to get to the middle school from the high school. Right. Is so it like know. a little drain tunnel or is it an actual bridge? I think it's a drain tunnel. This so summer we'd have to want to go out yeah. farther. Might have to look farther down. I got a couple of friends oh. with kayaks. I think we might check it out. <laughs> no, let's go check it out. Yeah. And, you know, and Source Creek's big on that stuff, too. I mean, they've got, we're we're connecting, we're doing a trail extension with them right now, connecting our park yeah. to their park on Elms Road. So oh. we're, we're doing a lot of, uh, we actually um, uh, submitted a grant to the county to get some funding for that. And, um they approved it. The county commissioners, thank you to our county commissioners, Dominic Clemens, Deborah Newman, and Charles Winfrey. Oh. <laughs> they did approve it. It was a unanimous vote. So I will thank all the commissioners, but all right. those three in particular. 
<laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so so we're moving on with that. I mean, you know, there's so many things going on um, that our community is trying to do, too. You're, you're trying to do this. We have a lot of, you know, new businesses coming in, and we've got these events going on. And it's so nice to see somebody like yourself come in and look at our community and see the value that's there and want to um, – improve it right so yeah, I, we're we're just glad to see that somebody's t- uh taken on this project so we wish you luck is there anything it. else you what did, um, did we miss anything well i mean there's like a thousand things i could i well, if you get me on, if you get me rolling about minutes. the park i i <laughs> won't shut up but no mostly it's just really and truly we've got 27 days to hit this kickstarter i know this is a very dark and cynical world and it's hard to believe anything anybody says anymore but i promise you'll be happy when we get this thing open we, yeah i want you to be happy whoever's listening to this right now like i want you to come to the park enjoy yourself this is going to be what we're working on i mean like i'm not happy till you're happy so now you have uh facebook is facebook? that pirates park yeah, that's the the best one it's uh yeah at pirates uh underscore park i think um, okay. If you just search for Pirates Park, we're we're pretty popular. We're um, okay, and then you have a website. Yep, the PiratesPark dot org. Um, there's also an Instagram, though that's mostly just where I post fun things that I want to okay. do at the park. So the, yeah, <laughs> then they can once they go in there, then they can. Uh, there's a link to the Kickstarter yep. program, and the Kickstarter program is basically they. Pay an amount. Well, actually, they don't even pay. Um, so what you do is you pledge a certain amount and get your certain reward level or whatever you're going to do. They don't take any money out of your account until the whole thing is successful uh, sometime in April. So, like, if you don't have cash in your thing, account right this second, don't worry about it. They don't take any money out until we win. Uh, and if we don't hit our goal, nothing's ever out of your account. Oh, and, really? Right. So if you what so what's the goal on that? Is that the one hundred and fifty? Yeah, the one hundred and sixty eight thousand four hundred dollars is what you said as the goal. Yeah. If you don't hit the goal, Nothing then it happens. goes back to zero. Yeah. Oh um, wow, so, that's yeah. interesting. Kickstarter so we gotta make sure everybody gets out there. Right. That's that's the other thing is there it is all or nothing funding. So if we don't hit the mark, we don't make any progress. It's not like we get to keep that little bit that you put in. So Okay. Don't, all right. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. Yeah. No, exactly. So go to PiratesPark.org if you're interested in helping out with the park that's on Miller Road and getting it back up and running. Um, I want to remind our listeners that if you have any questions for me, go to discoverflinttownship at gmail.com. Uh, you can visit us on Facebook. Find out more about the uh, egg drop scramble <laughs> on the 7th from 5 to 7. And that's at Flint Township Events. Our YouTube channel and our Anchor channel and our website are all Discover Flint Township. The website has .com after it. Uh, the Flint Township website is flinttownship.org. And I want to thank our guests today, Dane and Williams from uh, the Pirates Park Group. And I want to thank our partners, HAP, Shea Automotive Group, Financial Plus Credit Union, Guaranteed Rate, 103.9 The Fox. Discover Flint Township with us next week at 7.30 a.m. right here on The Fox. I'm Tracy Tucker, the Flint Township Economic Enhancement Director, and I would like to remind everyone to stay safe, stay healthy, shop local, buy local, and discover Flint Township. We'll see you later.